I've literally tried to film this like eight times now. And every time something happens, so fingers crossed. What's up everybody? It's Thursday. And by Thursday, I mean the real Thursday and not the Thursday yesterday that was actually Wednesday. <sighs> I'm having a hard time this week and that's just real talk. I'm tired and I just can't seem to find the time. <laughs> So as promised, um, we are going to be doing two Dolls Rod Talks this week in honor of this being the Hot Rod Editions show. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing. But before I get into that, I want to talk to you guys about the um, giveaway that I'm having on my Facebook page. As mentioned earlier in the video, um, Monday when this is being released is also the start of our giveaway with Car Culture Deluxe and Old School Rods um, sponsoring some really cool shit for me to send out to two lucky winners. So um, there's going to be two of those. There's going to be a first place winner and a second place winner and you guys are going to get kind of some cool prize packs that have some swag from Car Culture Deluxe and um, Old School Rods. So I got some glamour plates. I got some really cool hats. I got t-shirts. Um, and I also have some copies of the magazine, including the 100th issue of Car Culture Deluxe that has Sabina Kelly on the cover. That's right, the queen herself. So there's gonna be a first place winner, a second place winner, um, and they get the first place winner gets to pick if they want the car culture deluxe set or if they want the old school rods set um, and the second place winner will get the remaining gift um, swaggy bag and it's also gonna have some signed photos in it of me but I feel like that doesn't really matter because Sabina Kelly is on the front cover of the hundredth issue of car culture deluxe magazine so you're also getting that <laughs> but um, if you want to learn more about it click the link below that will take you to my Facebook page and that's where the post is going to be and it will have all the details below. Um, so other than that, let's get into this Rod Talk brought to you by Monday Coffee with the Doll. All right, before we get into the official share, make sure that you head over to Car Culture Deluxe and Old School Rods Instagram, where you can find a lot of really cool content, including super cool IGTVs, um, information on the magazine. There's the Sabina Kelly. Um, you can find submission info. They're looking for pinup model and photographer submissions, but make sure you head over to their Instagram and their Facebook page and give them a follow because they have a lot of really cool shit over there. But also be sure to check them out online on their website. You can find some links below and be sure to um, check out a subscription for yourself or possibly somebody in your family and help keep um, you know, magazines out there. It's really sucky that a lot of magazines just don't, um, they're not in publication anymore because people are all online. Um, and we want to keep really rad publications like Car Culture Deluxe and Old School Rods in publication. So jump on their website, get a subscription, and get the best in custom culture, lifestyle, car shows, and pinups delivered right to your door. So, yeah. Um, so they are the amazing sponsor of uh, Dolls Rod Talk as well as some good friends. So find their links below, help out, subscribe, and keep modern print alive. Alright, so as this is only the second Dolls Rod Talk, um, if you want to know more about this, be sure to find the submission info below in the description and you can learn more about what it is, how to submit your car, and also um, get on like if you want to be a part of this and, and all that all that jazz or if you know somebody you can share the info with them um, but this is our second one and our second dolls rod talk officially has been sent to us 
from Stephen Boggs in Tucson, Arizona, and he has sent in his 1966 Mercury Park Lane Breezeway um, to share with us. So we are going to learn about uh, his story, his car, where it came from, what it's all about, and also I have some really badass pictures that you guys are going to absolutely love. So um, let's get into it. All right, before we start with our email, um, I wanted to share a photo with you guys so you could see the beauty um, that we will be learning about this episode. Look how beautiful that is. Oh my gosh. It's beautiful, Steven. It's absolutely stunning. Thank you for sending it. So first and foremost, I really love the mix of photos that you sent. Um, I asked for photos because I want to see your car in action and, and photos say a lot about, you know, how people feel about things. And I love how you have a mix of like, like professional photos that you've had done because you love it and, and appreciate your car. But you also have like some out and about photos from you just cruising. You have some photos where it looks like you're at some car shows. Um, we got an under the hood photo, which is always badass. But um, I like all your different array of photography that you sent in. So um, I'm just going to share the email. So here we go. Everybody, I'm going to pull up a seat. We're going to learn about Steven's 1966 Mercury. Here we go right now. <laughs> It says, hello and good morning. My name is Stephen Boggs. I live in Tucson, Arizona, and I own a 1966 Mercury Park Lane Breezeway, properly named The Mistress. Proudly representing the Drag Strip Zombies Car Club, which is worldwide here in Arizona. So, sounds like you are a part of a pretty cool family that um, everybody should check out. I'm sure that you guys are, are always taking um, new people, so there's a little plug. Check out the Drag Strip Zombies Car Club worldwide, and he is in Tucson, Arizona. The story behind the car started January of last year. I was on Craigslist, not even in the position to buy a car, yet looking to see what classics were available when I came across this one early February. I feel like like we're never really looking but we're, we're looking into, you know, you know what I mean? Like you're not really looking, but if something were to pop up, you'd totally be ready for it, kind of looking. <laughs> the ad had been up for a month, so I didn't think the guy still had it, but emailed him to find out. He responded saying he did, in fact, still have it, so we continue exchanging emails. The car was complete with very little rust, only missing one thing, which was the left front marker light lens. So February 14th, my mom and I got a trailer and went for a road trip. I have to say, like, that sounds like the best Valentine's Day ever. <laughs> Going to pick up your project car on Valentine's Day with your mom. Road trip. That's badass. I'm already excited. The car was three hours away, but something about the car was drawing me to it. When we got there, the car was as pictured in his ad. Very badly oxidized, but complete. So complete, in fact, that it still had everything from the factory minus factory upper radiator hose, ignition cap, wires, and plugs. Still had the original fan belts from 66, and most of the light bulbs in the car are still the original ones. The car started right up, back window went up and down, and when it was time, even drove right onto the trailer. See, that's amazing. That's amazing. Like, you know you're gonna have to replace things like things like belts and cables and tubes and the things when you're getting ready to take on an old car because things rot and decay and depending on how it was stored, like you, you but when you have like all the original things, that's so exciting. Especially because like if something's original and still needs to be like fixed for functionality. If you like, like me and my husband, we'll keep silly things that are like momentums, or we could turn into like some type of thing later, or a display, or like we want to keep original pieces. Um, so that's really amazing, and also the fact that you're able to just drive it onto a trailer is amazing because getting things trailered 
in the past I've been involved like helping steer and well somebody pushes the car like it's such a pain in the ass sometimes and can take hours and like things always go wrong so it's great that everything is just like smoothly it sounds like the best valentine's day ever <laughs> like i'm so excited for you <laughs> all right where was i um larry the guy i bought it from told me he bought the car from the original family seven years ago with the intention of pulling the original 410 out and putting it in his truck he simply never got around to it the original family moved to Utah where the car was mostly stored during the winter. So I'm the third owner of the car, which when, so when he got it, he was the third owner. That's amazing. Like, and the fact that it's still, like usually you have like one owner that messes something up, but the fact that it sounds like everybody who had it took good care of it. So when it finally made it to you, you had like everything, just everything seems to be going super, super nice. <laughs> Um, let's see. It had a 103, 359, it had 103,359 miles on it and now has 111,423 miles on it. We got the car home and I instantly started cleaning it up, polishing all the chrome and stainless, gave it a bath with Ajax to remove the oxidation, which began to show me the true beauty of the original paint. Then came the buffing. That's always exciting. It's like taking off all of the, just the past to reveal the true beauty inside, which is always amazing. Let's see, where was I? Um, then came the buffing, which with the car being just shy of 20 feet became a task in itself. That's a lot of, a lot of work. The tremendous amount of polish polishing, I changed the headlights to brighter ones, changed the belts, water pump, fuel pump tires, added electric fans to ensure it stays cool here in the Arizona desert, and so far, that's it. I have air ride about to go on, fender skirts, a 1959 Dodge hubcaps for the front and custom bellflower exhaust. I love the car because it's not common, so everything I do to the car, I simply want it to enhance it. I love that statement a lot. Like that really says about like his connection to the car. I love the car because it's not common. So everything I do to the car, I simply want to enhance it. Like it's just, it's different. Like I totally understand how you feel, Steven, because that's how I feel about the Edsel. Like I just feel like originally it just it's it was never understood it was just different it was too weird for people and that's why I love it like like the front end the grill just everything it's just it's so different um and now a lot of people love Edsel's I know I'm not the only one but you're right this this is definitely a kind of more unique mercury to be interested in like it's not the common mercury it's not the like slammed mercury so I, I totally understand and I love that statement that you that you made let's see they made 8,696 of this model in 1966 and I know I have the only one in the city of Tucson and working on the details on if it's the only one in Arizona based on the information gathered there's roughly 500 of these cars still on the road today so it's nice having something at a show that is different and allows my peers to reminisce on when they were younger, which happens a lot. I always have people coming to me with stories about how their parents had one or a neighbor, etc. That's that's how it is. That's like my favorite thing about car shows is just the sharing and like the stories and the connections that everybody find with each other because over a car, like simply a car connects people in such a unique just wholesome way it's like my favorite part of talking with people and connecting with people at car shows so i totally know what you mean there i can relate since january of this year the car which i drive daily has taken two trophies one was second for best of show and the other trophy was for best of 60s class at little anthony's diner here in tucson there's an Instagram I have started for anyone and everyone who's curious about the progress. It's hashtag the underscore mistress Merc, which has every photo of the car from the beginning to present. 
thank you so much Stephen for submitting this and sharing what you've done and your connection to it and I really really love your photos I'm going to show everybody the photos um, I'm going to put Stephen's um, handle to his Instagram below so you guys can look him up and see his photos for yourself. I really love what you've done. I love the lights. That's a beautiful picture. Oh my gosh, that sky is stunning. I love this one too. Oh, the neon. Man, I love neon. That's so classic. Beautiful photos. Yeah. That's a beautiful mural. Great backdrop. Great, great backdrop. Mm -hmm. Yep, awesome. Thank you so much, Steven. Your car is super badass. I'm peanut butter and jealous. And hopefully someday um, I'll be able to run into you at a car show, my friend, and see it in person. I'm going to look up your Instagram. What was it? The Mistress Mark. Let's look up Steven's Instagram really quick. The underscore Mistress Mark. Steven Boggs, here you are. Dun 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 dun. Is this weird? Sorry. Here he is. Look, there's his rad car. Badass man, badass. I'm gonna follow you. Boop. You guys head over and follow Steven on Instagram too. So, but that's gonna be it for this episode of the Dolls Rod Talk. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you again for sending your car. I'm gonna be posting this um, in Monday Coffee, but then I'll also post it separately and tag you. So if you wanna share it with your friends um, or anything, you definitely can. So, um, but make sure you check him out on Instagram. Make sure you guys check out our sponsor, Car Culture Deluxe and Old School Rods. Make sure you show them some support and be sure to check out the giveaway on my page. So that's going to be it for this episode. If you guys want to submit your car or you know somebody that sh should submit their car, you'll find the information below. So I love your faces. Um, I'm sorry about the glare in my glasses. Steven, your car is badass, my friend. And I'm going to go have some coffee. So I'll talk to you guys again soon.